Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to Dwells and First Ladies channel. This is a channel for the young lady, whether she's a teenager, she's a young girl, she's about to get married or she's newly married, this channel will be a blessing to her. In this channel, we are all about giving information, you know, that will help and prepare a young lady for her future. On this note, I would also like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are a new subscriber or intending subscriber, I would like to encourage you to tap the subscribe button and you'll be glad you did. That's for sure. Now, today I'm going to be starting a new series on character. On character because I discover and as we all know that character is so important yes you've learned about virginity yes you've learned about body changes but your character also matters a great deal right and um, there's a saying that says your intelligence can get you to a certain level but it's character that will keep you at that level so it's important to discuss character now today I would like to start off with um, the first one and this is a personal one for me that should be personal for every person and this is on loving yourself now what am i talking about loving yourself um i recently stopped stumbled on videos of um, a young lady who went to do um, liposuction and all the suctions to look a certain way right you know and it ended badly and she lost her life and then i asked myself was there anything wrong with her body before? Was that um, surgery, was it between life and death? Could she have avoided it? Now, I want to talk a little bit about that today. I know we may not necessarily, you know, um, prefer our body type or our body shape. But hey, God gave it to you, right? Just as you did not choose your parents, there are certain things in life you cannot choose you do not have the you do not have the um you know the the um you don't have that opportunity to choose and god in his infinite wisdom says this is the kind of body structure i'm giving you and you say no i want the one that is figure eight i want bigger bust i want bigger bum i want tiny waist God in his wisdom has picked the certain shape you are for you. Now I know many girls will contest that and say, after all, if you can do something about it, do something about it. Hmm. I would say if it affects your health, for example, maybe you are so fat and it affects your breathing, it affects you know your daily lifestyle, of course you should do something about it. And I'm not talking of liposuction, I'm talking of exercise, cutting down on food and all the natural ways to go about it, right? But, beyond the, um, you know, if it's not affecting your health, if you are doing well, you are healthy, if that's your body size, why should you kill yourself? Why not rock it? Why not become, you know, a crusader for that size? That every other girl that size that's, you know, confused about how they look, that's doubting themselves, they can look at you and be encouraged. So why not, you know, encourage yourself and you know be rock that size you are if you are very thin rock it if you are very fat rock it i have a friend my god she's big but she's so attractively big if there's a word like that attract you can't look at her and not take a second look because she looks so beautiful so well taken care of that you would look at her again and again. In fact, she used to tell me, we did masters together. And she used to tell me that, B, do you know that the number of guys that toast me, even undergraduate guys, toast a master student. As at then, she was a master student. That should tell you how beautiful she looked, even though she was plus size. Right? So it's so important that you understand that it's beyond, you know, beyond, oh, this is how I look. I don't look so good, so I will not get the best. That's not true. That's not true. Body size is just one of the things about you. It is not everything about you. So stop pegging your life on body size or body shape or body color. I see a lot of girls using bleaching cream. That's for another day. Or body color, body size. Stop pegging yourself like that. God has made everyone uniquely. Why did God make some people white? Why did God make some people red? Why did God make some people black? Some people brown? 
is all in his infinite wisdom and God's wisdom is higher than our own. Let's not try to be wiser than God. So I want to encourage that young lady. Perhaps someone around you is even thinking of, you know, changing their body size, <laughs> moving some fat somewhere to another part of the body. Please tell her. Now, is it what Rick say your life for? I know some people will argue with me and say, you know what, some people got out of it, they didn't die. But ask them, what are the complications after? What are the drugs they may have to live on? What are the different complications that arise from these things? Please love yourself. Love your body. Everybody is crafted uniquely by the Almighty God. Everybody. I remember someone, um, you know, she's, um, she's older now. But she once gave an illustration. She's a Nigerian lady, right? But her bum is particularly flat at the back, you know. And you know, growing up, you know, children will tease you, classmates will tease you, people in your um, community will tease you, and all that. But she didn't mind. She just continued her life, had fun, and everything. When it was time to get married, guess what? The guy that came for her, a Nigerian guy, guy as well, but he has lived so much abroad that he was not, he didn't have a thing for women with bomb. He didn't want bomb, right? So he loved her, married her, and life continued. So you never know. Maybe that person God has crafted for you is not looking for a bomb. You are killing yourself for a bomb. That person that God has crafted for you is not looking for a figure eight. You are killing yourself for a figure eight. It can make you miss your destiny. So I want to encourage every one of you, please love your body the way you are. You are uniquely crafted by the Almighty God and His wisdom is more than yours. Now I want to encourage you, if you, have, if you enjoy this video, endeavor to like, to share, tell your friends about it. Let them watch, let them get wisdom, let them begin to make wise choices so that tomorrow will be better. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.